Hello, my dear friends. Hari, welcome to Easy Walk to English Grammar. Today, we are going to deal with the further uses of as. We have already dealt with some of the major uses of as in English in our previous video. And now, we are going to deal with the further uses of as in this video as part 2 of our previous video. So, watching that previous video will help you a lot. And we can move on to our new video without any delay. Okay, my dear friends. Oh, who is stopping us? What does he want? Why he is stopping us? Anyway, he is a policeman and he needs something. Did we do any crime? Did we do anything wrong? Will we be taken to the station, police station? Let's check. But, dear friends, wait. Now I feel something is wrong, of course, but it's not with us, not from our part. Something is wrong with him. I think he's not a real policeman. Shall we check it? Wow, my dear friends, our guess is correct. He wasn't a policeman. He was really a chef. The chef pretended as a policeman for some reason. It may be to cheat someone or it may be to make fun of someone. We are not sure. Anyway, our focus here is not about his intention, but how to speak about this pretension in English. There are a number of ways and you may be okay with most of them, but our focus here is to speak about this pretension formally in English. How can we speak about this pretension very formally in English? Let's check. One way to speak about this pretension is like this. The chef acts as a policeman. But there is a problem with the sentence. Here, we cannot make it clear that if the policeman, sorry, if the chef acts as a policeman in a movie or in a play, or if he acts as a policeman in order to cheat someone or to make fun of someone. From the example we dealt with a little before, it's very clear that the chef is not acting in a movie or in a play. He purposefully pretends as a policeman either to cheat someone or to make fun of someone. My personal opinion is that the chef is a funny man and he plans to play some trick on someone. For that purpose, he pretends as a policeman to make fun of someone. But this sentence now you see on the screen will not help us to bring in that meaning. Then how can we bring in that sense into our sentence? Of course, with the help of this sentence, we can bring in that meaning into our sentence. The chef acts as if he were a policeman. When we used as if, the phrase as if, now it's very clear that the chef pretends as a policeman in order to cheat someone, in order to deceive someone or to make fun of someone. Anyway, he is not acting in a movie or in a play. Hope you understood. We can bring in the same sense with the help of another phrase like this. The chef acts as though he were a policeman. 
as though the phrase as though also helps us to bring in the sense that the chef purposefully pretends as a policeman in order to deceive someone or to make fun of someone this is the use of as if and as though in english it will help you a lot or they will help you a lot in making your sentences formal and accurate i think by the time you understood the use of as if and as though if you are still doubtful please repeat to watch the video as this is an educational oriented video there is no limit in the number of time that you can watch the video you can watch the video until you become doubt free now let's look into the meaning of as if and as though once more as if and as though mean to pretend as somebody else or something else what does it mean we can pretend as something or someone else which is entirely different from our own self that's the meaning of as if and as though got it now here is something for us to look into look at this sentence please the chef acts as if he were a policeman and you can see the chef is one person and our subject in this sentence is singular he is the pronoun he in the sentence is the pronoun that stands for our subject the chef before continuing my dear friends if anybody of you uh, is not sure about what subject and object is please visit our channel and do watch those videos related to subject predicate complement preposition etc otherwise you cannot understand the further grammar topics coming back to our point here once more let me repeat our subject in this sentence is the chef and he is the pronoun that stands for the subject the chef but we used were in this sentence as verb which is actually the past tense plural form of be we cannot use were with singular subjects in normal course then why did we use were here in this sentence let's take the other sentence where we used as though there also you can see the same thing happened we used were in that sentence too the chef acts as though he were a policeman he is singular the chef is singular then we then why did we use were the past tense plural form why can you guess there is of course something to be noticed we have to be careful about these facts while constructing sentences with as if and as though come on let's look into it in both these sentences if you closely observe you can see that the action is in present tense look at the word acts please acts tells us that the action goes on in the present time even then we used the past tense plural form of was along with acts which is really a present tense form of the verb in the second example also you can see the same thing happening where along with acts why did we use 
where along with a present tense verb because in order to bring in the sense that someone is pretending as someone else that is entirely pretending as entirely different from one's real self to bring that meaning to bring that sense into our sen sentence we have to use where and what point you have to notice here is that this happens when the action is in present tense when this action happens in the present tense let's look into some more examples to make this point clear the first example is he composes the music as if he were a beethoven as if he were he composes the action goes on in the present tense and we used as if he were in this sentence we know the subject is he and he composes the music like beethoven that is the sense we try to bring in the uh, bring into this sentence he composes the music as if he were and here it's very much clear that the subject he is not the real beethoven but when we hear his compositions we feel that he composes the music with the expertus as if he were a beethoven oh in simple sense like beethoven hope you understood and i hope you have noticed the construction of the sentence with the help of as if moving on to the second example he teaches about gravitational force as if he were an isaac newton he teaches about gravitational force as if he were an isaac newton in this sentence also we adopted our subject as he and the action goes on in the present sentence and it's clear from the verb teaches he teaches gravitational force and when we listen to his teaching we feel that the real isaac newton comes here and he is teaching about gravitational force with that much expertus he teaches his students how could we bring this sense into the sentence when we used as if and where in this sentence we could bring that sense he teaches about gravitational force as if he were an isaac newton we can go for one more example bina dresses up as though she were a film actress here in this sentence we used as though and we are we have already learned that we can use as if all as though in the same sense coming to this sentence bina dresses up as though she were a film actress here it's very clear that our subject bina is really not a not an actress not a film actress but when she dresses up maybe she she may be looking very beautiful or she has selected a fancy dress whatever it may be when she dresses up we feel that 
she is like a film actress and we used as though here to bring that sense along with as though we here used wear also and when we look at the verb dresses it's also very clear that the action happens in the present tense in the present time Veena dresses up as though she were a film actress I think with the help of these three examples you are now okay with the use of as if and as though in present tense Here we can look into another interesting fact. In the picture that you see on the screen, you can see a woman examining a man with a stethoscope. Is she a doctor? We are not sure. Is the man a patient? We are not sure. Just that we saw the stethoscope, we feel that the woman is a doctor. we are not sure now one more interesting fact we can look into that's the date of this incident when the date when this incident happened as per the date given on the screen now this incident happened on 21st december 2020 so we can come to the conclusion that this action happened in the past and we were dealing with as if and as though we can now check how as if and as though works with actions that happened in the past we are trying to focus on the sentences which have past tense forms of verbs for example she examined him as if or as though she were a doctor as if or as though you can use any one of them both have the same sense either as if or as though it's up to you if to use as if or as though anyway there is no change in the meaning and if you cl- closely observe the sentence you can see we have used the past tense form of the verb in the sentence examined she examined and we used were in the other part of the sentence as if or as though if you want to make yourself clear about the two parts of the sentences please do watch the part 1 of as in our channel easy walk to english grammar it will help you a lot in differentiating the first part and the second part of the sentence and you will find uh, to learn as if and as though very easy once again coming back to our point here we used were in the as if and as though section or as if and as though clause of the sentence there is not much change when we use were along with past tense form of the verb in the first section or or the other part of the sentence or in when we use present tense form of the verb in the other part of the sentence there is not much change the meaning is the same a sort of pretension or a sense of pretension is there but if we want to use as if and as though skillfully we need to know minute differences in the application of as if or as though in different kinds of sentences for that we can move on to one more example and that's she examined him as though or as if she had been a doctor and you can clearly see here in the first sentence we used were and in the second sentence we used had been dear friends we haven't dealt with tenses in our channel so far 
but we'll definitely be dealing with all the complicated grammar topics in simple english and simple ways of instructions simple tutorials you can expect from our channel for that please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and while subscribing please tap on the small bell icon and select option all anyway coming back to our point here why did we use where in the first sentence and had been in the second sentence and let me repeat one more thing in the previous sets of examples we dealt with uh, present tense forms of verb instead of examined we dealt with a number of present tense forms of verb if you feel doubt please repeat go back and watch the video please and coming back to here what we are dealing with uh, now we can see that there is nothing there is nothing to be confused even if we used present tense or past tense in the uh, other section of the sentence other section means the section other than the section begins with as if or as though there is no uh, nothing to be uh, worried about it but we have to be careful when we use where or had been in the as if or as though section there is a minor change in the meaning when we use where in the sentence of course it gives us a sense of pretension but there we are not sure if she is a doctor or if she is acting as a doctor that is the sense when we use where means we are not sure not at all sure sometimes she can be a doctor otherwise she cannot be a doctor she won't be a doctor she might be acting as a doctor pretending as a doctor that is the sense when we use where in a sentence but when we use had been in a sentence had been in the section as though or as if section the meaning changes slightly there it means really she is pretending or she pretended as a doctor she is certainly not a doctor but she pretended that's the difference between using where and had been if you are a beginner in learning english grammar you will definitely have confusion in use of in the use of been and in our channel easy work to english grammar you can find uh, find out a wonderful video dealing in uses of been in english it will help you a lot and watching that will help you um, very much in understanding what we are dealing in this video so my dear friends i think this much explanation is enough let me repeat it for your sake when we use where in as if and as though section there we are not sure if the subject is pretending or not pretending or the subject is really uh, the person uh, who we whom we meant but when we use had been it's sure that the person the subject is pretending she is she or he whoever it may be it's not real they are not real that's the difference between where and had been and one more thing let me repeat once more there is no uh, confusion in using present tense or past tense form of verb in the other section the section other than the as if and as though section there is nothing uh, if if the thing happened in the past you can use a past tense form of the verb and if the thing happens in the present you can use a present tense form of the verb there is nothing to be confused the confusion lies in the as if and as though section definitely you will have confusion 
uh, especially if you are a beginner so please don't forget to repeat to watch the video until you become doubt free and you can comment your doubts in our comment section definitely i will be answering to make the above set point more clear we can go for two more examples here at first at a glance you may feel we are using the same sentence she examines him as if or as though she were a doctor but if you closely observe you can definitely see we have changed the tense form of the verb in the previous section we used examined the past tense but here we are using examines the present form of the verb but there is no change in the meaning only change in the meaning is that the action happens in the present time the meaning is we are not sure if she is a real doctor or if she is pretending as a doctor when we used where in the as if and or as though section going for the second example we can see she examines him as though or as if she had been a doctor here we can see that we have changed the previous past tense form of the verb examined to the present tense form of the verb examines but the meaning has no change except for that the action happens in the present in the present time in the second sentence it's very clear that she is not a real doctor she is pretending as a doctor when we use had been there had been means past perfect form of the verb past perfect tense we are using when we use had been leave the matter of the names of the tense please focus on the use the meaning the sense when we use each tense when we used where in the previous sentence it means we have a confusion we are not sure if she is a real doctor or if she is pretending as a doctor but when we used had been in the second sentence it's 100 percent it's clear that she is pretending as a doctor and she is never a real doctor i think you are quite sure about the differences of the usage now hi who is here again i think he is working on computer and he is an expert in working on computer his facial expression shows a confidence that he knows well how to work on a computer but my dear friends what we have to do with him here in learning as if and as the shall we look into it come on here we are going to focus on another aspect of using as though or as if in this example he works on the computer as if or as though he knows the details of the software if you closely observe this example or the sentence you can see that in the first section we used the present tense form of the verb works he works present tense present simple form or the simple present form of the verb in the second section beginning with as if or as though once again we used the present simple or the simple present tense form of the verb knows he works on the computer as if or as though he knows if you have noticed carefully uh, our previous examples definitely you would have seen or in all those examples we used the past tense forms of the verb but here we are using the present tense form of the verb along with as if or as though what do we try to bring in to this sentence what sense do we want to bring in to this sentence here we are trying to tell that when we look at that person who works on the computer when we notice the skill with which he is working we are 100% sure that 
he knows the details of the software installed there is no doubt hundred percent sure he knows the details of the software that's the meaning we are trying to bring about bring into the sentence when we use the present tense form of the verb here knows we'll make this point very clear with another example he worked on the computer as if or as though he is a computer expert here you can see that in the first section we used the past tense form of the verb worked in the pre previous sentence we used works here we used worked the past tense and in the second section that begins with as if or as though we used is the present tense form of the verb the present simple or the simple present tense form of the verb but there is no change in the meaning uh, the meaning is same as in the previous sentence even though we changed the tense of the verb in the first section we changed the tense of the verb as past tense in the second example worked and we used is the present simple form in the section beginning with as if or as though but there is no change in meaning here also we are trying to tell that we are 100% sure that the person or when we look at that person who works on the computer when we look at or when we notice the expertise with which he is working with the skill with which he is working that he is a computer expert we are 100% sure he is a computer expert that meaning can be brought into this sentence with the help of using present tense form of the verb in the as if or as though section when we used where we were not sure we were confused when we used had been we it was not real we were 100% sure that it was not real but when we used the present tense form of the verb here we are 100% sure that nobody is pretending here but the person is really the person whom we meant to be that's a change even so we told the meaning of as if and as though as to pretend in uh, in the earlier section of this video my dear friends you have to notice the fact that when we use different tense forms along with as if and as though the sense of pretension also changes as if and as though always does not mean to pretend but there are slight variations according to the change of the tense of the verbs that we use along with as if and as though without knowing this if you simply think that the meaning of as if and as though is to pretend then you will make or we will commit mistakes in using as if and as though in your sentences as i repeat always this is an educational oriented video and today we dealt with a rather complicated topic in english grammar please repeat to watch the video any number of time you can watch the video until you become doubt free and please feel free to comment your doubts for which i'll definitely be answering and my dear friends if you feel that you have benefited from this video please don't forget to give the video a like your likes are energy boosters for me it will help me to uh, bring in new videos new useful videos in the channel uh, so please don't forget to like the video and share this video with your friends and relatives who would like to improve their english language and please comment your suggestions in our comment uh, in our comment box below and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel also 
while subscribing please don't forget to tap on the small bell icon and select option all please thank you very much for watching the video we will soon meet with another useful video until then take care bye for now